everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm to Build Web. <laughs> what? Uh, today we got 20 PC mods of testing. We got 34 console mods of testing. The Farming Simulator League Season 2 finale is this weekend. Custom modding show off their Case IH early riser planters. A dub modding's working even harder on the old Gen Massey pack. Simulagri have a new piece of equipment to show off. CNH have their International Eagle truck in game. CM Mods want your help picking out the location for their next map. Mappers Paradise want to know what John Deere you think is missing from the game. Caster Modding's got a new map. Puma 145's changing the update to Massa Delina. Plus, Lancy Boy's new map is closer than ever. Let's check it out. In testing for PC, we have the Amazon Tea Pack, Closed Silage Shed, Diesel Tank, Ford Meadows, Kerner Corona 300, Kerner Corona 500. Lizard 10 500, Lizard APL, Lizard Diesel Tank 2000, Lizard TM Series, Lizard Karina 2700, Minardi LTS 270, Metal Shed, New Holland CR 5080, Nokian Tractor King, OBE Agri 10T, ORL 270, Seasons Geo Mayo, SIP Disc 260, and the Ursa Z594. It tested four console players. We have Agricultural Shed, Anaburger HTS 2979 Multi Land Plus, Auto Load Pack. BDP 6.3, CB Tech Silas, Crisoni Compact 10, Egg Crate, Euro Panel Fence Pack, GE 17240, John Deere DB60 Planter, Large Shed, Limkit Solitaire 12800, Lizard 44202, Lizard 5557 43 2060 Farmer, Lizard MS2, Lizard C Pack, Lone Oak Cabin, Lone Oak Decorations Pack, Lone Oak Farmhouse, Lone Oak Pig Farm Pack, Lone Oak Cell Points Pack, Lone Oak Sheep Farm Pack, Lone Oak Oak Silo, MAN TGX Force Semi Trailer Pack, Metal Gate Pack, MRF RD 1600E, Multi Liquid Tank, Simple Fueling Station, Storage Shed 5x15, Taco Stand, Tin Garage, Faderstead Carrier X525, Vintage Diner, and Westbridge Hills. With all that being said, we still have 134 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 8 work days. The Farming Simulator League Season 2 will be ending this weekend with a bang being shown on Giants Twitch live this Saturday and Sunday at 6 a.m. Eastern, 3 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. CEST. They'll be streaming in English and in German on both of their Twitch channels to accommodate everyone. I'll have both of those linked below, so if this is something that you're interested in, check them out, link below. Friends of the channel Virtual Farmer and Ansgard will be hosting alongside Warner, as well as Nicholas and Lars from Giant Software. Custom Modding has posted a few more pics of their Case IH 2150 Early Riser Planters for all platforms, with the 16R30 shown. They say that they're not finished with the 12R30 and the 24R30 yet, but those will complete the 2150 series lineup. These mods are still a work in progress, but as you can see, they've come along a long ways in just a very short amount of time. As of right now, we've got John Deere planters and seeders and Case IH planters and seeders in the works with the John Deere planter and testing right now at the time of recording. What a great time to be on Team Red and Team Green. You can't you can bet I'm going to be doing something with these once they're released. Let's go! Hey, Dub Modding released some new pics of the old Gen Massey pack, showing off the new and improved normal maps, which bring out better detail and gives the models a sharper edge and corners, as well as giving the mods more depth. I can tell you right now, these pics do not do these mods justice. They look amazing. Simulagri continues to tease the Roland FS19 pack with today's model, the Rollmax 8735. This is going to hold 35,000 liters of manure and can be equipped with the C10 EDT vertical frame or the famous TCEI spreading table for wider application of manure. This is just one of the many models coming with the new pack, so make sure you stay tuned to the channel so you know everything once it's announced. Making our way over to CNH Mod, and we get some new pics of their International 9300 Eagle, which is being made for PC only. They say that it's now in-game, but a few other things still need to be done, including scripting. They also need to double-check some material issues and address discolorations. Plenty of work still to do, but this looks awesome nonetheless. Though CM Mods is doing final testing on Lawfold's Aberdeen shirt, that doesn't mean that they can't look around for their next map location. They've said that the community has spoken and they wanted to see CM Mods make a map based in the UK, so the search begins. Where in the UK do you think they should make a map? Maybe it's a new location that hasn't been done already. Drop that down below or go check them out on Facebook and tell them yourself. Mappers Paradise posed a very interesting question in their latest post, what John Deere tractor mod do you think is missing from the game? I'm gonna have to say the 9R. 
And by the looks of it, most of you agree as well, with the 9R being the overwhelming majority of answers. With Giants releasing the 9R X as a paid DLC, I don't foresee us being able to get this as a modded version without having to pay for it. However, the 9R, to my knowledge, hasn't been done yet, or at least even tried for all platforms. Obviously, it would need to be lower detail than what you would see with, let's say, the custom modding 9R that we've been showing off, but it would still be cool. What do you think? Caster Modding says that they're in the final steps before internal testing begins on their next map. We do get to see some in-game picks, but not a whole lot of information is known as of all the information is in German and the English translations are pretty rough, uh, at least on Facebook. We do know that the map is called Somewhere in Thuringia 2. This map, by the looks of it, has been on third-party sites for almost a year now, though map leaks and renames happen all the time, so none of that can really be trusted. Only time will tell. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Puma145 has posted saying that the update to Mazda and Delina should have been updated yesterday. However, changes are still being made to make the map even better, and they found some things that needed to be worked on. They have since removed all of the required mods that were needed to make the map look right, and to replace them with models directly added to the map, which is the way that I think things should always be for every map. In addition, they managed to replace the mods switched up with stuff from Nismo, who's known for making very nice and detailed buildings and models. Usually each week we get at least a few mods from Nismo. I think we've already gotten two or three this week already. So it's great to see their mods being placed on this map as permanent objects. I couldn't have thought of anyone better. And lastly today, Lancy Boy dropped two new screenshots from his next map, which still at the time of recording doesn't have a name as of Wednesday morning. We get to see Lance testing the map and doing some final checks before sending it off to what should be an announcement and official showcase this Saturday by multiple content creators and streamers here as well. I will keep you guys updated once more information is known about this, so make sure you are stay tuned to the channel. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for up-to-date information on everything going on in the world of farming simulator well guys that is going to be it for today i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you drop a like on the video get subscribed to the channel if you're new enjoy the go ham fam make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel all being said i hope you have a great day we will see you later peace RTX 3080 videos are out. What do you guys think?